vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, one of the most so highly anticipated movies and matchups this year. Why don't you take a look? and they were all watching the screen like that. Uh, you know, no pressure, no pressure playing Batman. No, not at all, not at all. It's uh, no problem. Oh, it's a lot, there are a lot of great people who have done it before, you know, Christian and Chris Nolan and, and Michael Keaton and uh, Val Kilmer and George Clooney. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's, uh, so it's definitely uh, big shoes to fill and I was grateful and humbled to be able to get the chance to do it. Well, the, the crew and I, we watched it. It is, it's thrilling from, oh, from start thank you. to finish. Thank you very and, much. Yeah. And that, that, the suit that you have to wear, um, yes, a little heavy, a little, a little heavy. Yes, sort of like this, guys. Right, you know exactly. what I mean? You got, you got a few of them out here. It's, uh, Did you have to get in shape to be able to? You has to yeah, I had to be in shape. You know, nowadays audiences expect you to, if you're going to play a superhero, to look like a superhero. So that was probably the, the hardest part of the whole thing, actually. Uh, but yeah, and the suit's a little restrictive. But, they, you know, they have a lot of people do, you know, the customers do great work now. So you can kind of be flexible in the suit and move around and do all the stuff that you're supposed to do and look like Batman, more or less. You, you did look like Batman. But, you know, it's really about the character Bruce Wayne and that's where you what you really had to nail yeah that, it's, that's true because when you're Batman you got the movies doing a lot of the work for you right. there's the sound effects and there's you know there's music and there's the optics of it all but when you're playing Bruce Wayne that's when you really play the character and hopefully that's what the audience sort of projects into that Batman mm -hmm. uh, costume when they see it you know this 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 character this character that we've all, many of us have grown up with, and, and many people are wondering, like, wh why are they against each other? They're, they're two good guys. <laughs> well, that's sort of the trick of the movie that yeah. you have to go see it. It's when you, if you just think about it to start with, you think, A, they're both heroes, and why would they mm -hmm. be on opposite ends of, of any fight, and B, um, why wouldn't Superman just get squashed? Why would Batman get squashed like a bug right away? So there's a lot of storytelling in the movie that goes to explain uh, those things. You gotta, so you gotta buy a ticket. Right. Well, it's like the Alpha and Omega of superheroes. Right. Exactly. I, I hear that. You have been great. You're out here promoting your your movie and then going around different places. I know it has to be difficult when so much is being said about your private life and how you've been so graceful, you and Jennifer, and talking about it. What's been the most difficult part about this past year? Well, you know, we just um, we sort of put the kids first. And and, and, you know, she's been uh, running around. She's got a great movie, Miracles from Heaven, that's out, that you can catch at theaters. And uh, she works very hard, and she's great with the kids. And, you know, like I say, we put them first and just uh, take it one step at a time, do our best. And that's what it is. It always comes down to family, family Absolutely. first. And, that, Absolutely. and our viewers can respect that. Uh, your son, he got a chance to, uh, didn't you, he had a birthday party. Did you pull out the superhero suit? Yeah, he wanted to, um, he wanted to have a superhero birthday. Right. So he wanted all to be like the, some superheroes to show up. You know, like a, he wanted his birthday party to look like that, basically. <laughs> right. And uh, but he was like, "You got to wear the real suit." So the studio uh, let you. I, I called them up, and they were very gracious. They brought some of the, oh. the costumers over, and they brought the real suit over, uh -huh. and they made me sign like I wasn't going <laughs> to use it for evil, you know. Right. And um, and I put it on, and you know, went out there like for his birthday, and wrestled around with the other superheroes and tried not to tear anything and uh, you know I, I i knew i was going to be like sort of performing for kids but i i got self-conscious when i realized all the grown-ups were there too I oh they're, they're like, kind of looking know, at you a little bit like, hey batman <laughs> <laughs> okay wow you're really doing it um but it was fun it was great to see the look on his face it was really it, that was made everything what, worthwhile those moments what yeah. a, well we got some little superheroes right here they want to ask you some questions all right and, and the first one is girls. alfred I'm not, I'm not kidding the name is alfred <laughs> so alfred What's your question? I'm not Alfred. Okay, where's Alfred? Okay, Alfred, Alfred. You, you, you go ahead. <laughs> go. go ahead, step up the mic, Alfred. When you were married, did you ever think you'd be a superhero? I never did think I would be a superhero. It was a big surprise to me. And um, But you guys, you look like you're ready to be a superhero already. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go, Alfred. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Thank Ky you. Kylie, you have a question? Okay. Hi, Mr. Affleck. Oh, My hi name there. is Kylie. And I think I already know the answer to this question, okay. but who do you think would be a better president, Batman or Superman? <laughs> <laughs> 
I, you know, I think they'd both be great candidates. Um, I think Batman has some anger issues he'd have to resolve uh, before he. Right in, <laughs> the candidate is the, the um, what do you call it? The campaign is quite a circus these days. So I, he would fit in. He would. Good answer. Good answer. Okay, Adam. Now you can go, Adam. You can ask your question. Who should lead the Justice League? Batman or Superman, and well, why? That's something Batman's definitely qualified for. More, much more tuned in to leading the Justice League probably than um, being president of the United States. Oh, great question! Excellent question. right here it is throwback thursday it is throwback thursday you want to see ben when he was very young in his first time on tv take a look at this come on take a look at this i'm ben affleck i play the part of ct granville in the voyage of the mimi the story of the voyage of the mimi is made up but everything in it really could happen scientists do go out in the ocean to study whales in fact scientists study just about everything and they go just about everywhere to do it <laughs> now you know why I never imagined I'd be a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> After that, but didn't you use your first, that was your first paycheck and you bought some comic books that, that's or something? Right, that's right, that's how I started buying comics and <laughs> so where it all started. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're never safe here at GMA. We're going to go to the vault all the time. You're such a great sport. All the best to you. And Thank we're you all, very, very highly much. anticipated. Batman versus Superman. Thank you very Dawn much. Dawn of Justice Thanks, opens nationwide tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Yeah.